Hello and welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to the Boring Company and Elon Musk. As you can see, we have made some excellent progress on the Hawthorne Test Tunnel. The actual TBM has been removed. I have some pictures to show you in a minute. But I thought today we'd talk about the future of the Boring Company, what sort of things are going to happen in the next year or so, what I believe is going to happen and why the Boeing company will succeed. But just take a look at this picture for a second, guys. I'm confused as to what this tower is for. Is this the actual watchtower, I wonder? I've not seen anything written about this steel frame, but I believe it could be the watchtower. It will be clad with bricks. That's what I think, guys. I don't know what else it could be. If you've got any ideas, drop it in the comments below. Let's get on with our talk. So, boy revolution, what does the future hold? Is it progress or failure? Now, if you've been reading the news over the last uh, six or seven days, you'd probably think that the Boeing company was a failing company. It was basically in hard times and it was about to fail. No, that's not the case. Absolutely not the case. That is simply FUD from the media. Unfortunately, with Elon Musk and his standing in the media, he will be getting a lot of, how do I word it, uh, a lot of bad press. He will be, he will not be given a, a fair time in the media. He will be targeted and people will use him because his name gathers clicks. Fortunately, that is the negative nature of um, the mainstream media at this very moment in time. If you watch this channel, we're not going to be talking about this negative news that often. Where it comes up, we will talk about it and um, basically confirm what is true and what is false. A lot of the stuff in the mainstream media is false. So, if you already watched the channel you will know that on the 10th of december there is a launch event for the boeing company test tunnel at hawthorne that is taking place on the 10th of december so we are t minus six days until that unveil that is going to be an absolutely huge milestone for the boeing company in many many years time that's what they will be looking at saying this was where it all started that test tunnel is now complete it is being fitted out as we speak in LA. I'd imagine the majority of that work is now completed. Certainly the work surrounding the shaft that is near 120th Street, that has been um, completed. But only six days to go. We're really excited, guys. I am certainly very excited about seeing what is going to be revealed. Will we see the pod? Will we see some plans about future tunnels? Who knows? Maybe it's just testing the system, just the general party. Who knows? But I'd imagine with it being Elon Musk, there might be something thrown in there. Some kind of surprise that even I can't predict that will really make this big news in the media. <clears throat> Another thing I want to talk about is uh, this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe people use this phrase to you. He certainly used it to me in the past. Rome wasn't built in a day. Basically, that means is you, it, it takes time to build perfection. It takes time to build something that is going to be uh, useful or correctly engineered. So the Boeing company is still a startup. Things are still ongoing. It, it is still learning. They're chill, still trying to find uh, the best way to get projects approved and get projects built. And they're still obviously developing the TBMs. So there is a, there's a lot still to be done, but what I've seen so far, I am very impressed with. What is going to happen in 2019? We're a bit more established now. Uh, the company has good leadership structure. We've got some projects that have been proposed that are going to be built very soon. So this is my, uh, how do you call it, a prediction. But I'm pretty confident all these things are going to happen. I don't think they're even predictions. I would actually say these are going to happen. Pretty confident they are. 
the pod development will continue and plus there will be a reveal. I believe it will be next year, not on the 10th of December. Um, I believe that the pod will look similar to the ones that we have in the drawings. However, internally, it will be something rather special and the fit out will be impressive. It'll be a modern, very aesthetically pleasing and utilizing materials that are hard wearing, but also good to look at. And I believe that will have a huge battery in it, really big battery, probably 200 kilowatt hours, maybe 220, maybe even 240, but we will find out. Work will commence on the dugout loop and the Chicago project. Those projects are uh, being built uh, or the planning for them is being undertaken as we speak. They are going to get built. The project at Sepulveda, uh, that was the north-south tunnel, that was only really a proposal. It was never listed on the main website. It was simply going to be a test tunnel. But doesn't matter, we can do these other projects and then maybe build a tunnel under Sepulveda Boulevard at some point in the next two to three years. Planning will commence on a large extension of the dugout loop. Something that Elon Musk said to me, uh, or said, well, said to the world on Twitter, clearly emphasises how ambitious he is for the Boeing company. He wants a huge network of tunnels under LA. We are talking many hundreds of miles of tunnel, possibly thousands of miles of tunnel. And despite the setback, despite all the FUD, he said on Twitter that this is going ahead and it's going to be even bigger than previously proposed. Obviously, this will start off with the dugout loop being completed. That is a one-way tunnel. They will then add another parallel tunnel and then I imagine they will extend that maybe to the north, maybe to the south. Who knows? But they will build it out from that point. The dugout loop will almost become the centre of the system and then they will just build branch lines from that point um obviously one of the most key points is line storm line storm is currently being developed it is the possibly in fact it is definitely the most advanced tbm ever built in the world it will have a lot of very very uh, specialized technology built into that machine it will be possibly i imagine this one will be battery operated it will have the speed uh, to back up the hype and that is being done as we speak. They are building it in LA and hopefully very soon we will see it maybe in the second half of next year. And hopefully the specifications for that will absolutely blow everyone's minds. Boeing bricks will sell out. If you've already seen my prediction, once the Boeing bricks hit the, uh, the shop floor at the Boeing brick shop, I believe people will go in there and buy them in the thousands, especially for the price. They are dirt cheap. They are very solid. They will make great houses. They will make great extensions to houses. They they can be used in very, they, can, they will make absolutely phenomenal uh, retaining walls. Uh, they will be a phenomenal product to buy. Now, you're probably wondering, why, why do I do this channel? Why, why do I believe so much in the Boeing company? Why have I got so much enthusiasm for Elon Musk and the Boeing company? When a lot of people in the mainstream media think this is some kind of gimmick or some kind of joke project by Elon Musk just to pass a bit of time and to build his uh, profile in the media. I, I don't believe Elon Musk does anything for a joke. If you look back at Elon Musk's history, he has built some phenomenal companies. The, the main one that really uh, brought Elon Musk into the mainstream was PayPal. PayPal is still around. PayPal is still doing very well. But back in the day, PayPal was trying to be almost like the world's first online bank. Back in the day with eBay, you had to send checks to people and wait five or six days while that check was posted, then it was cashed, then you had to wait for it to clear. Then you, the person sent the item out. So it, it, it sped up the process of using eBay by a considerable margin. Instead of weeks, it was just simply days to get your product. Hence why eBay bought PayPal. Uh, SpaceX. SpaceX is the obvious one. 
all the people at NASA, all the rocket engineers said it couldn't be done, said it couldn't be done profitably. SpaceX proved that it could be. They are the most advanced rockets in the world. If you are launching satellites, you want to use SpaceX. Why use the competition and play and pay, sorry, three times as much when you can use pay SpaceX? Tesla, Tesla's gone through its challenges, but every car that Tesla has released has been a massive success. They've gone through the difficult part of this business now and they are building it into the next four. Sorry, I can't help with that yet. Thanks, Google Home. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. It goes off sometimes. Uh, yeah, and, and basically my... Uh, <laughs> carry on that. Uh, my, my belief, and it's always been my belief, and, and this is what it's been like for the last six years, is in Elon we trust. And you might notice that I say that quite a lot. But Elon knows how to deliver a project because he is a full-on engineer. He's not just some entrepreneur with a vision. He is, a, he is an engineer with a vision who can deliver and he understands what people want. And that is the key bit. And I think in Elon, we believe he can do almost anything. And the Boeing Company will be a huge success. In two years' time, you will look back at this video and you'll say, you know what? That phrase there in Elon we trust is exactly you know, what happened and, and why the Boeing Company was a success because he, he drove the projects forward and made them a success. So final thoughts, guys. Uh, 2019 will be a big year for the Boeing Company and this channel. I, I expect it to absolutely explode next year. There'll be, there'll be almost too much stuff to talk about. Um, I might even have to go part-time at work, the way things are going. It's just absolutely the number of projects that are coming along, the amount of... Uh, a lot of YouTubers are talking about the Boeing Company now, and that, that is a sign of things to come. Things are going to get a lot more busy. Elon will always prove the haters wrong. If you say Elon can't do something, and he has his mind set to doing that thing... Uh, you might as well hand over your money to him because he's already beat you. Uh, yeah, oh, so just before we finish, guys, we have a few pictures from the Boeing Company. They have removed the TBM from that shaft on 120th Street. As you can see, it looks it looks pretty beat up, but I, I think that's just uh, cosmetics. Um, if you can see here, there's a screw conveyor. Here's a shield in front of this bit A here would have be the cutter head. That I imagine that will get scrapped. They may use it on another scheme, but I'd imagine that will get scrapped because basically it's not fast enough, but it was a good learning experience for the Boeing company. You can see in here further on, this machine is quite old. It has been used on other projects before. As you can see, we have... Um, the heavy loaders they're moving the equipment away we have our jib crane in the background and there you go guys thank you for watching thanks again we are getting close to 400 subscribers i could not be happier this channel is doing more than what i thought it would be doing i'm going to step it up next year we're going to do more stuff so remember guys only six days on the 10th of december we have our launch event of the hawthorne tunnel i will be covering that in one form or another I hope that you will join me. But please like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon if you want to be notified of every video that I do. I appreciate all feedback and comments. Please keep doing that. I really enjoy talking to you guys. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. As always, it's been a pleasure. Nice talking to you. And remember guys, don't be boring and I will see you soon. Goodbye.